Hi, my name is Emma and I'm a librarian here with Northwest Library. And today I want to share with you some great picks for fifth grade reads. The first book I'm going to share with you today is called Prairie Lotus and it's by Linda Sue Park. It's a historical fiction novel and the main character is Hannah. She lives with her father um, in 1880 and she moves from California to the Dakota Territory in a town, small town called La Forge. So since her mother died three years ago, Hannah and her father have been moving from place to place, never fitting in. And the reason is basically because Hannah is half Chinese. Um, however, when she gets to La Forge, she really likes it. She's determined to stay. She's finally gonna fit in. She's gonna attend school, which she's never been able to do before. She's gonna make friends and she's gonna achieve her dream, which is to become a dressmaker and sell her dresses in her father's store. Um, but the prejudices against her as being a half Chinese girl outsider makes this seem almost impossible. Um, but Hannah is determined and powerful and she's gonna figure out a way to make it happen. Uh, I would suggest this book if you like historical fiction novels like Little House on the Prairie or The Birch Bar House, or if you like stories that are, you know, fish out of water stories, because Hannah is definitely a fish out of water, but she makes it work. So the next book I have to tell you about is called Once Upon an Eid, uh, Stories of Hope and Joy by 15 Muslim Voices. It's by S.K. Ali and Aisha Saeed. Now this is a great collection of short stories that all take place during an Eid celebration. Um, there's two main ones that they talk about in this book, Eid al-Fatir, which celebrates the end of Ramadan, and Eid al-Adha, which is connected to the annual pilgrimage to Mecca. So all the stories take place during Eid, but other than that, the stories are very diverse. The characters are really diverse. They take place all around the world in lots of different cultures. Um, but they are all about faith and family and friendship and growing up. Um, also, since Eid are celebratory holidays, there's a lot of talk about food. Like your mouth's gonna water when you read about the stuff that they're eating for these celebrations. Um, some of the stories are funny, some are more sad. There's even a mini graphic novel. There's definitely something for everyone in this collection. It's also available right now on Hoopla as an audiobook and an ebook. So you can download this and start reading right now, which you should. The next book I have to tell you about is a different one. It's a nonfiction one. It's called The Screaming Hairy Armadillo and 76 Other Animals with Weird Wild Names by Matthew and Steve Murray. So this is a really fun and funny book. Um, about all the weird and wacky creatures out there and all the equally weird and wacky names that they have and how they got that name. Um, it's a quick read, it's fairly short, but it's very fun and very interesting. For instance, have you ever heard of the monkey face prickleback or the bone eating snot flower worm? There's even a hickory horned devil, which is a spiked caterpillar that you can find in the forests of the Eastern and Southern US. So you might even be able to go out and find them in the woods right now. Um, you can lo learn a lot of really cool facts from this book and you'll have a great time reading it. It is available as an ebook on Hoopla right now, so you can start reading right away. The next book I have to show you guys today is one of my favorites, one of the best books I've read this year, and it's called The Boys in the Back Row by Mike Jung. So Matt is our main character and him and Eric are the absolute best of best friends. They bonded over thir in third grade when Mike was a new kid over their mutual love of comic books and the marching band. And this year, sixth grade, is going to be the best year ever. Matt even switched the instrument he played so that he could be in the percussion section and sit with each other, sit with Eric in the background. Um, their teacher announces that at the end of the year, the entire band is going to be taking a three-day field trip to a music competition at the World of Amazement Amusement Park. Not only that, but their favorite comic book artist of all time is coming out with a special limited edition omnibus of their favorite series, and it's only going to be available at DefenderCon, a local comic book convention. Best year ever! Well, maybe not. 
because pretty soon Eric and Matt find out that Eric's mom has to move them all the way out across the country. And the DefenderCon convention is happening at the same time as their music competition. But all is not lost. Matt and Eric come up with a plan. They're going to play hooky on the last day of the competition and make their way on their own to the convention to meet their hero. It's their last chance for an adventure as friends. But of course, nothing goes as they imagine it's going to go. Uh, this was a really funny book. Uh, it's hilarious. It'll make you laugh out loud. Um, it's also available as an ebook and audiobook on Hoopla right now. And the last book I have to show with you guys today is called The Weird Books, Volume 1, Be Wary of the Silent Woods. It's by Svetlana Chimakova. And if that name sounds familiar, it's because she's also the author and illustrator of the Barry Brook Middle School series graphic novels, uh, Awkward Brave Crush. So if you like those, you should definitely want to give this a shot. So the main character is Ailish, and Ailish and her family and friends are a lot like you and me. They go to school, they have jobs, they live in a normal small town. Almost. Because at night, their small town is a completely different place, full of supernatural creatures like Ailish and her family. Ailish and her family are actually weirds, humans who have magical powers, and these really cool astrals, which are protective spirits that are constantly by their sides, almost like shadows. These are the astrals here. So Ailish and her cousins, Naya and Desh, have always been told by their grandma to stay away from the abandoned mansion in the silent woods. That's this building right here. So they pass it every day on their way to school. And honestly, it's not hard for them to stay away from it because it's very creepy. Until they start to see strange lights going on and off in the building. And then there's this very creepy masked man lurking around in the woods. Then a classmate starts acting strange, and her Ailish and her cousins learn a very disturbing family secret about her grandmother. So Ailish and Naya and their friends are going to have to get a lot closer to the abandoned mansion than they've ever wanted to to figure out what's going on. So this book has everything you love about the Barry Brook Middle School series, crushes, frenemies, school competitions, but with an added layer of spooky and mysterical spooky and mysterious magical happenings. Um, I would also recommend this book if you like the Amulet series or the Graveyard book. You're going to love it. Uh, those are all the books I have to, to share with you guys today. Um, I hope one or two or all of them sound interesting to you. Um, and if that's the case, you can order them uh, to be put on hold for you here at any of our three branches, and you can pick them up at curbside or through the drive-through window.